There are over 100 billion web pages, but who made the first one? It's hard to imagine a time without the web. However, 30 years ago, the first web page wasn't even online. This is British engineer and computer scientist Sir Tim Berners-Lee. He invented the World Wide Web in 1989 and coded the first web browser in 1990. The first web page went online in 1991 and was hosted on his next computer. There are no screenshots of the original web page. However, there's a simulation of the first web browser and web page. Link in the description. As you can see, it is all text based and you navigate by typing the reference number of the link that you want to go to for the different pages. What inspired Tim Berners-Lee to create the World Wide Web? Well, when Tim Berners-Lee was working at CERN, located near Geneva, he found a problem. It wasn't easy for researchers to access information as it was stored on different computers. It was hard for people to log in and learn to navigate through these different systems. His solution was the World Wide Web. Not to be confused with the internet, that's different. His solution included HTML, the code web pages are written in, HTTP, the protocol or rules of transferring web pages over the internet, and URIs, the address for each web page. For example, http colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com forward slash shum computing. Tim Berners-Lee would later regret how clumsy URIs were designed. They're split up into protocol, hostname and path name. He would have preferred a simpler syntax with the hostname in the same format as the path name, making URIs less complex, but it was too late. In 2009, he even apologised for the unnecessary slashes. In recent years, Tim Berners-Lee has acknowledged that the web has created opportunity, given marginalised groups a voice and made our daily lives easier, but also created the opportunity for scammers, given a voice to those who spread hatred and made all kinds of crimes easier to commit. Tim Berners-Lee now works on safeguarding the future of the web with a project called The Contract for the Web. This contract has been designed with key principles for governments, companies and individuals to adopt to help protect the web against political manipulation, fake news, privacy violations and other malign forces. How else do you think the web has impacted the world? What do you think the future of the web will look like? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like these. Thank you for watching, see you next time.